Meanwhile, the looming Fed rate hike has driven the rise of yields on shorter dated T-bills and is also expected to weigh on today's rescheduled T-bond auction. Beverly Natividad has more on this. Investors flocked to shorter-dated debt papers at Monday's Treasury bill auction, with yields on the three- and six-month papers rising and the government rejecting one-year bids. Uh, a lot of players are now standing on the sideline and probably will be waiting for uh, the Fed decision and, and even probably uh, waiting for the reaction of the Banco Central come uh, December 22. The Bellwether 91-day notes fetch 1.55%, up 7 basis points from 1.484% previously. Bids totaled 11.21 billion pesos and the Treasury Bureau decided to fully award the 8 billion on offer. There is an appetite for the 91 and the 182 because they're relatively short. Mm -hmm. And if they were to invest their money, they would put it in as short as possible if they're expecting higher yields next year. The yield for the 182-day T-bill similarly rose 6.7 basis points to 1.876%, with 5.2 billion pesos in bids for the 6 billion pesos on offer. The Treasury capped its award to 3.06 billion pesos as average yields would have risen to 2.273% had it accepted all bids. People are preparing for the rate hike this December, I think it's already at 100% expected. So prior to investing their money in, let's say, one year, which was rejected because the yield would have been higher, they would prefer to park it in over-the-year time deposits, which are a little bit higher than Treasury bills. Bids for the one-year debt papers were rejected altogether as yields spiked to as much as 2.532%, an increase of 65 basis points. It's uh, driven mainly by uh, the Fed meeting that uh, is being anticipated. So a lot of uh, positions were for uh, shorter term and even uh, probably held no, uh, in cash. Even in the uh, term facility of Central Bank, there was also under subscription on the bid to cover. The government is due to auction off 25 billion pesos worth of five-year debt papers today. And despite the Treasury bill results, some bankers are optimistic. I'm seeing some interest from clients who are recalibrating their positions prior to the year end. Um, remember that a lot of them will have to be invested, at least partially, before the year ends in different tenor buckets from the short end all the way to the long end. So there will be some demand. The question is at what level? The U.S. Fed is expected to hike interest rates during its December 13 and 14 meeting. After that, investors are expected to be more active given clearer directions on where to park their money. I think everybody was waiting for something, for a stimulus this year. So that's why um, there wasn't a lot of activity. Um, both the buyers and the sellers, and that's what's difficult when, when people are moving in the same direction, there are not a lot of deals to be done. Well, that's until we come to the next question. How many more Fed rate hikes can we expect in 2017? Beverly Natividad, Bloomberg TV, Philippines.